they would call down the hallway to me. Things got so bad that I started pretending to be sick to avoid going to school. Hi, I'm Raven, and perhaps I might be a bit strange to you. When I was younger, perhaps five or six, I always felt like the other kids my age were childish. My parents would always tell me how grown up I was. My teachers were shocked by my grammar and how advanced I was in all of my subjects. I never just wanted to play with dolls or play pretend with my friends. Everything just felt wrong. The world felt like it should be different. I would always have this repeating dream of me, but I wasn't me. I was this other, older girl, somewhere in her 20s. When I was seven, my older sister of four years was watching a show about this older band from the 1960s. I later found out they were extremely popular worldwide. Even though I've never heard of them before, their music seems so familiar to me. I somehow even knew some of the lyrics of their songs. I soon became obsessed with the group. My grandfather noticed my love for them, and so he sat me down one day and told me all about them. Everything! Listening to my grandfather, I felt a sensation of familiarity. Like, it didn't feel like I was learning something new, but reminded of something I had forgotten. This obsession went on and grew for years, until about two years ago, when I was 15. One day when I was at school, I overheard my friend talking about how she experienced a past life regression. When I asked her about it, she explained to me that it's where you go into a part of your brain, unlock deep memories, and remember what some people believe to be their past lives. I have always believed in reincarnation, but to actually find out who I was in my past life? It seemed intense, but I decided I wanted to try it. Just for fun, of course. So that weekend, my friend helped me meditate to the point of past life regression. Suddenly, I was having flashbacks. I remember being little, seeing old style cars driving down the streets, my mother's popular pinup style hairdo, and I remember that band. I remember my birth year being 1951, meaning that I would have probably been a teen when the band was popular. After all, they were a boy band. It didn't last long, but it was enough to remember more than before. I was ecstatic and even started taking treats for my past life. After finding out, I went and told my family. They were shocked, but it finally made sense why I am the way I am. When I explained to my friends why I was acting slightly different, they were excited. They would playfully tease me about it and it was all fun. Until kids at school started calling me names. The word spread fast. Nobody believed me. Not even everyone in my family believed me. I was thought to be crazy. I felt outcasted. I felt ashamed. I started to push that part of me away. I began to feel because of their words. Freak, liar, and more? I felt special, and now it was gone. I thought maybe my imagination got the best of me. Things got so bad, I started pretending to be sick to avoid going to school. One day, my mom found out that I had been skipping classes and she asked me why. When I told her, she told me something I think you should all hear. Don't deny who you are just because someone wants you to. They're trying to find themselves too. You should never change the way you think because you're unique and you're your own person. Be proud to be yourself and understand it's okay to stand out. My mom's words were my saving grace. I started taking pride in being who I am and in my past life. I became so open and confident about how I feel that some of the bad kids ended up giving up and becoming my friends. Other bullies have persisted, but I don't let it bother me anymore. Instead, I started looking into who my past life was and to know her story. I've gotten leads and felt close to figuring out who I was, but I'm not there yet. I have, however, come to realize how different our world has become in the last 50 or so years. Our environment is slowly getting worse, and I've started volunteering at cleanups, shelters, and more to help. 
I will continue to seek my past life as well as continue to live my best current life. I'm proud to be different.